From scary kitchen items to prophetic playing cards, there are a lot of cursed items that you could possibly buy on eBay. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host, and here are your top 10 cursed items on eBay you should never buy. Coming up in our number 10 spot, we have Musée de Horreur Octopus Men. <laughs> That's my French accent for ya. It failed. <laughs> this is a poster that honestly gave me the creeps to look at, which is my sign for the fact that <coughs> it's cursed. This is a replica of a French poster from 1899. This poster is of a man that is seemingly half man, half octopus. The man is also wearing an eye patch and looks quite stern. So overall, the vibe of this picture is just low. Not to mention, it's literally called the Museum of Horrors. So that just sets the tone for you to be scared. Words are powerful, folks. In our number nine spot, we have the Jeffrey Dahmer Blade. This is one of the most chilling items that I found. This is a kitchen cooking blade that has the face of known killer Jeffrey Dahmer. Why does this product even exist? I don't understand people. Jeffrey Dahmer is known for being a cannibal, and so this product just pushes the envelope a little too much for me. Upon inspecting the item, I noticed that six people bought it and 45 people are watching the item. Who are these six people and 45 watchers? I demand a reason for buying this item. Unless it is for Halloween purposes. Actually, no. Even still, this is too dark. Imagine the headspace you have to be in to even think of this item. I'm scared. Let's move on. In our number eight spot, we have the angry baby face. Maybe it's because I'm creeping up on my motherhood years, or maybe it's because this is genuinely, supremely creepy. I'm really unsure, but would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is an angry baby face mask. Actually, it's a collection of baby face masks with an angry version, a crying version, and a happy version. And all of them are quite disturbing. I think the happy version is the most nerve wracking, to be honest. The baby looks like Gollum when he finally has the ring in his hands. I think the eyes are possibly the worst part. So big and grayish blue. I'm concerned that 48 people bought this, but whatever. In our number seven spot, we have the pig mask. Has anyone ever seen the show Black Mirror? And the first episode is with the politician and the pig. Yep, quite the disturbing show and not gonna lie, ever since that episode, I've had a hard time with pigs. Actually, that's a lie. I just have never liked pigs that much, if I'm being honest. <laughs> the only pig that I ever loved was from the movie Babe. Okay, fine, and the one from Charlotte's Web. Anyways, this is a mask of an angry pig. Guys, did you know that pigs sometimes eat their babies? Pigs are scary, okay? This mask gives me the creeps and it's absolutely cursed. 43 people have bought this item. Correction, 43 sociopaths have bought this item. In our number six spot, we have the family heirloom. This is a ring that is pretty creepy to look at. It's quite old and worn out and is supposedly an heirloom to the Borgia family, a prominent Italian family. This heirloom is a piece that dates back to the 1600s. It is also a piece of jewelry that is said to be haunted as it was a part of an Ed and Lorraine case at one point in its history and the case dealt with a lot of suffering. The ring is made of gold and the stones have not been identified. I've never seen a stone like it. It almost looks otherworldly. The ring has a set price of, wait for it, 3,000 US dollars. A lot of money to spend on a possession that is definitely cursed. In our number five spot, we have Aladdin's lamp. This item is probably cursed, but also it's really cool, so I'm conflicted as to how I feel about it. I was a hardcore Aladdin fan, not gonna lie, and I have to admit, Aladdin was definitely my first crush. <laughs> He's a dreamer who does what he can to make his dreams happen, so gotta love that in a man. Anyways, this lamp speaks to me. Does that mean whatever is haunting it is speaking to me? Does that mean I'm already being tricked? Anyways, very confusing. The seller of this lamp claims it to be haunted as well as that it possesses 
showers. It's also really dirty. Not sure if this seller decided to leave it dirty so that it looks like it came straight out of the desert of Agrabah, but I just, I don't understand. Like, why couldn't you have wiped it down, like, even a little? my cleaning OCD is acting up, so let's move on. In our number four spot today, we have a haunted ring. The title of this product is literally haunted ring, so do we think it's cursed? I'm leaning towards yes. <laughs> This might be the spookiest ring that I have ever seen. It has a brassy look to it with what looks like a bird at the top, then honestly what looks like stitching or maybe a tally of something underneath, and then the letters R-O-M and some more stitching or tallying of something. It's so strange. Upon further investigation, apparently there is supposed to be an A at the end of the R-O-M, meaning it's supposed to spell out Roma, and apparently this is a ring that was made for a man for his wife named Roma, who was a survivor of World War II. Dark. Honestly, if this was a gesture of love, couldn't he have just written, I love you? Some men need guidance. <laughs> In our number three spot, we have the clown painting. This is a painting of a clown that literally looks like it's looking into your soul. <laughs> or perhaps it's looking into your ear and getting ready to pull a coin out of it, but regardless, I'm scared. It's cursed. There's clearly a spirit attached to this painting. This painting is from the 60s, and I truly wonder who in the world bought this painting back then. Also, I want to know where in the house this painting would be hung if bought, because I don't think there is a room that it would not be creepy in. Unless you had a room of clown merch, then perhaps it wouldn't be as creepy. It would just add to the collective creep vibe, but still. If you have a happy clown story and are convinced you can make me less scared of clowns, please share it with me in the comment section below. In our number two spot, we have this old Ouija board. This one might be a given as it's literally a tool to talk to the dead, but whatever, I had to put it on the list because it's clearly cursed and we should definitely stay away from this item. This is a very old version of the board that has probably passed through the hands of many in its time and it is so dark and spooky looking that it just gives me the creeps. When people play Ouija, they could be talking to good or bad spirits and they say that the bad ones can actually attach to you if you're not careful. I truly wish this game came with a list of player stories so people could be aware of how psychologically damaging it can be. I had a very dark experience with this game, so definitely stay away and do not buy it. In our number one spot, we have the Illuminati New World Order card game. Okay, I had to put this one in first because it's honestly intense. This is a card game that was invented in 1994 by an artist named Steve Jackson. This isn't just any card game though, oh no. This is a card game that has predicted a lot of crazy events that have happened in world history. There's too many predictions to count at this point, but the very fact that it was invented in 1994 and there is literally a card with two buildings and one exploding, similar to a certain attack that happened in 2001 in New York City, is mind blowing. This deck is called the Illuminati New World Order, which makes you wonder, was this a prophetic game? Or was this quite possibly made by an insider that was subtly warning the world of what is to come? In any case, this item is definitely cursed as the cards keep coming true, so beware. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for good vibes and more content like this. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host, and you can follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Mladi. I will see you next time. I hope that you have a good Dessa.